Well, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the shop. I got some new bling. Thanks to John Wilburn. Uh, he called me up one day and said, here, let me turn you. What's the panel size there? So he made some of those for y'all guys that have garage doors you want to hang this on. Get a hold to him and see if he wants to. I, mean, I, I don't know if he's selling them or whatever, but I appreciate it. Uh, but this video right here, I man, is just, I appreciate John. I appreciate the no-name national stuff. But this video right here is just talking, right, uh, about the truck and what all's going on. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, okay. When I started this project, it was, like I said, a project. I bought the 84 out there as a daily driver and I was going to use that to do delivering and leave my little blazer alone, right? Because um, that's the one I wanted to build the crap out of. And the more I mess with that thing, dude, <laughs> that's a pain in the ass to work on. Uh, so then when the no-name nationals come up, it's like, okay. We'll build a little daily driver truck out of the 84 and take it down there and race it, which turned out to be crap because the transmission and everything was bad. Uh, but since then, we've got that fixed. But now I'm working on the little 84 trash truck, the little red one, um, trying to, you know, show people that you can do a lot with a little bitty engine. Um, that's the goal. Um, I know a lot of y'all are not going to be able to find that blower and stuff I put on there. I had that thing sitting around for like 10 years, uh, just in my office in here. Uh, and then when the no-name national come up, it's okay. Let's do it, right? We'll fix the data driver. We'll take that down there the first year. Next year, we'll throw the blower on a 2.8 and go do that, right? And so far, everything's working out great. Um, we still, the little engine has so much power with, I mean, it's not big. Um, it's 187 horsepower. But of course, you know, this 30 over, got the biggest freaking cam you can stick in that thing. Uh, the biggest valves you can put in the head, you know. And this goes out to the guy that says, is it modified on the last video? Well, yes. If you'd watched the videos, you would freaking know, right? Um, and then we stuck that blower on it. Then we went through the problems of you can't find two wheel drive headers. So we had to take four wheel drive headers, stick on that thing, do some beating and banging, messing. Y'all, if y'all been watching the videos, y'all know what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, we had some issues with vacuum leaks under the blower or on top of the blower. And, dude, we're getting there. And then I decided, well, let's make it look decent, right? Uh, last year, it just all faded. And y'all got to remember, man, I pulled this thing out of a freaking hay field. Uh, it was sitting in the hay field <laughs> up against a dang fence. Uh, I bought it for $600. Uh, and it was just... Dude, we popped the hood on that thing and I'm like, holy crap, <laughs> right? And it was supposed to be running and driving. No, no, nope, nope. Uh, they had a spun bearing on number six, yada, 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 you know. And I was like, okay, that's not going to happen this year. Let's fix the little blazer and take it, right? Uh, but 
Now, let's play with, you know, the little 84. Um, and then I, I get these people, the, these trolls and stuff like that, you know, it's trash, it's junk, it's trash, it's tr Why would you do that with a trash engine? So that's how we call it, the trash truck. And uh, I don't get it. I really don't get it. If I'm sitting here showing y'all <laughs> how to make a 2.8 do its thing, why are y'all not listening? Why are all the haters coming in? Why not be asking me what I did, how I did that, like a bunch of people have done? Uh, and on that subject, man, quit messaging me and telling me this guy's talking crap, that guy's talking crap. Please quit doing that because uh, I don't go watch them people because they're stupid. They don't understand what's going on. They have no clue of what's happening with what I'm thinking. Uh, and they can sit up there and talk crap all day long. Um, but we're close. We're close. Um, I, I've got the paint. I got two more things to do the paint and some painting to do. And I've got some cool stuff I'm going to stick on that little truck and make it, you know, a nice little truck. Um, then I think we're close. The problem right now with that little truck is I knew when I put that 410 under it, it was just going to spin. It was just going to spin like crazy. So I got... Um, Rob's Rob, well, last year, Jason's Garage was going to build me some slapper bars and bring them to No Name National. He didn't, he had, he hurt his back or something. He couldn't get there. And then I got a message on Facebook the other day that Rob's Rods and Streetcars, which is Jason's brother, had uh, done some horse trading. And uh, he had a set of slapper bars. He was going, hey, they're free to you, man. Okay. Well, I sent him my phone number. And I said, hey, call me. Let me know, you know, and I'll send you the money to ship them to me. I'm still waiting. Um, then I got to talking to old man in the shop, built not bought. Uh, and he was telling me, do the exact same thing that the old Mopars had. You know, the snubber bar over the rear end, right? Poop, 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 right? But I want that rear end sitting there, and it don't freaking move. Uh, so that might be what I do. Unless I actually get the slapper bars, and then, you know, we got to do some planning and adjusting and fix that out. Uh, but all I'm doing, man, is I'm showing people what you can do with a small little 2.8. Uh, heck, I've done the same thing with 2.5s. You know, the old Iron Dukes. Uh, dude, you'd be surprised at the power you can get out of that crap. Uh, a little turbo, you know, whatever. But that's what I'm doing. And I don't get the the troll situation uh nor do i care uh if y'all people enjoy what i'm doing and understand what i'm trying to do kudos to you uh but the rest of them can you just flat out kiss my ass um i i, I know i've got like six or eight people that's got these little 2.8s, and I've helped them out quite a bit. Um, so, you know, it'll be what it is. Uh, I've been working in the shop a little bit, doing some sharpness stuff. I got to do some videos on some sharpness stuff. 
uh, people seem to like that. I, I used to have a whole lot of followers on the sharpening and stuff, but hey, we're going. Uh, but there you go. That's my thoughts on what's going on. Uh, the little 2.8 from hell will kick some ass. Let's just get that thing mounted to the ground and see what happens. Uh, but anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this little talk. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Family home is safe. Uh, don't forget to hope John about these little things because that works perfect in the garage door and we'll see y'all in the next one take care